Sweet Jesus Christ, how long did it took me? It took me 25 minutes to get this stream going. Good Lord. Sorry about that massive delay, but it was entirely by factors outside of my control, such as my internet service provider deciding to be as objectively terrible as it possibly fucking could be. Ah, uh, where's the fucking library over here? Uh, what the fuck is it? Here it is! Launch that. Close that. Uh... What do you mean, explain the bacon? Bones Raspberry Pi 4. Is there- they're coming out with a new one or something? Oh, you'd better be fucking not fucking with me on the capture now, buddy. Da, 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 da. There it is. Perfect! Okay. So, uh, what needs explaining about the 15 pounds of bacon, Mew? There's bacon and I've got 15 pounds of it. That seems very self-explanatory to me. I-48 gig exist. I- those are some numbers. I'm not a num master of these things. Alright, so empty scroll. Uh, I think it's... Oh lord! Teach. And I want to see if this works. N? Think this is how it's spelled with a space? I might be wrong. It's French and therefore a war crime, so. Hey! He can do it and he does have the skills for it. Excellent! Oh, that's perfect. Alright, uh. We can get a ghoul later. But I think I know what I want to do with this for now. Actually, wait, isn't the ghoul like right here or. Yes, I specifically do want to kill the elite guard and go down this way. Ah, here it is. Necromancy. Getting myself a ghoul. Cosmic the ghoul. Not cos- yes, cosmic skeleton the ghoul. Don't, don't worry about the details. Alright. Ah, no, no, no. There we go. Cool, and I believe, yeah, ghouls can't, uh, actually equip shit, but it's fine, he's just a sacrifice for later. Alright. So, since I did actually get on guard from trying to use that thing, I'm gonna basically try and cheese out the elite guard. I think I can get, like, one round of attacks in before having to flee from him? Oh, almost stepped on that thing again. That would've been bad. 
Did that give me a surprise round? Yes! Okay. Um... I'm gonna go for the arms. Yes. Okay, one leg down. One... Oh, other leg down. Wow, legs do not have a whole lot of health. No audio. Fuck! I always do this shit! Ah! Uh, I think you can actually... Rather than having to, uh... Bother going for another flea, I think we can take him up before he gets an attack this time. By just going straight for the head. Nope. Well, but it's just the ghoul, which is fine. We can resurrect the ghoul again later. Yeah, there we go. You do see, man-ass ice the bite, because that's a ghoul. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. Meat pie and moldy bread. Terrible. I have silver coins, blueberries, nice. Turn up, nice. So yes, that was my strategy, my big realization that, wait, I don't have to learn hurting from that spell, do I? Couldn't I try using a different skill? And yes, I'm keeping the little girl around mostly for food at this point. Ooh, rotten meat. I want to get another one of those, actually. Wonder if, uh, what's his face? Wonder if Crowmaller's already spawned in. Probably, but I'm not too worried about him, since I can probably on guard and flee when he shows up, or if he shows up. I uh, can't go through that way. Ghoul wears a loincloth, which is pretty surprising. Most things don't bother covering their genitals in this game. Or, sorry, you're rather covering their stingers in this game. Oh, Chromaller is here. Uh, guess I'll go along here. Go up, you dickhead. Fuck's sake. Ah. Well, it might be dead here. Run. And let's just go straight for the head. Fuck it. Oh, wow, it works. All right, now mash on guard in case he immediately refights. But we don't want to get away. Cool, cool, cool. So I want to get a second rotten meat, because I think I can recruit Moonless if I have two rotten meat. I saw someone mentioning that somewhere. Let me just walk this little girl barefoot through the blood pit. Actually, if the ghoul dies from infection... The crow is basically Pyramid Head. I, I can't fight that guy. He'll just fucking straight up kill me. Actually, do I even want Moonless yet? Eh. I could hawk, hack off all the little girl's limbs and eat her just basically straight away, I guess. What if this is a good way to just straight up kill party members or something? Shankity, shankity. Oh, it feels so good to have on guard back. Holy shit, you have no idea how much I missed this move. Kahara's on guard was so nice with escape plan. You show in, you ambush them, you immediately run away, repeat as needed. Take some. Alright, so I've got two rotten meats now. Listen to that stabby with that staff. Ah, oh, it's so good! That ability is so good. Way better than dash, even. I mean, dash is great, don't get me wrong, but the ability to ambush stuff and get a free round to chop their head off? Especially the ability to get a full party early on? Because Necromancer, that's great! Anyway, the reason I specifically wanted a ghoul for this, and I can pretty sure I can just revive him if he dies. I really hope I got a pipe soon. I need to get a pipe. Because I've got tons of opiates and nothing to smoke them with. Use the mechanism. Is, uh, do you remember that, uh, in the previous playthrough? When I found that one, like, super awesome sword, but then, like, died immediately afterwards, I want to try... What the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, I should eat something, I guess. Uh, meat pie? No. Moldy bread, I guess. Wanted to, uh, try getting a ghoul to get it for me. Full stone, okay. This layout is the same as last time, isn't it? Except there's no bridge here? Wasn't there a bridge here last time? Well, whatever. Hopefully the, uh, crow mother or no mother, whatever the thing is, leaves us alone if we leave her eggs alone. Nope. Alright. Well, boss fight time. Uh, what do we got for skills, actually? I don't have hurting or any of the direct damage spells, so I can't use them. Uh, I want to go for breasts, I think. Have little girl also go for breasts. Then hope Lizzie cooperates. 
Two shots of torso. That's okay, I guess. All right, with breast scones, you won't be spawning in cave gnomes. One tooth bite on cosmic. Whatever, he's fine. Oh, we got actual boss fight music. Let me pause the other music then. Oh, Liu Tang! Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, fuck, what do I cut this? I guess I go straight for torso. Fuck it. Now, I don't say this to a lot of people, but you're actually my favorite follower. Wow. Fucking, sure, the ghoul lost his arm, but whatever. Cosmos disposable. But you're actually my favorite follower. That's right, you are my number one. Because Tang is my favorite drink. I think Cave Mother actually goes over here. I guess I can murder her and get, like, a soul from it. Yeah, now she's back. Ah, I wonder if we can just down her entire body in one round with some good RNG. Or fucking Lizzie can just one-shot the thing! God damn! This girl's bloodlust will not be satiated! Fucking first time through, she tried to murder me! Search... Gnome Egg... Use the Soul Stone, get the attack boost... Uh, who do I want to give the attack boost to? Uh, the Overwatching Talisman is incredible. Maybe I'll give it to Lizzie! I'll be giving her probably a top tier weapon soon, too. Oh, yeah, and I guess uh, Cosmic's bleeding out. I've got lost fragments to spare. I don't have enough mind to spare to resurrect them again, so I don't have like the super mind up ring again. Yeah, I mean, I think Necromancy is pretty decent because it gets you lots of party members quickly, but it also feels like there's a lot of party members that you can just get from doing other stuff and running for a while. Oh, wait, right, yeah, like this one. Uh, skills, talk. Uh, guard? We'll see how this goes. Offer rotten meat. Hopefully the Lizzie doesn't kill the NPC I'm trying to recruit with rotten meat. I mean, it's hard to tell. Lizzie is just a fucking murder machine. Okay. Stand you, already a full party of four, so... Well, hmm. That's fine, I guess. Maybe I should have counter magic on, uh... Do I have more L? Oh, I do have more L. Nice. Maybe I should have counter magic Cosmo for a bit. Eh, it's fine. Milk the corpse. Uh, hmm. This is not a layout with this I'm familiar with, and I think Pocket Cat's supposed to show up here usually. I mean, he showed up here last time. I don't know if he'll show up here again. And this leads into, like, the mines? Also, I am super not worried about cave gnomes in the slightest for once. Because unlike last time when I just had Kahara and the little girl, I've got four people in this party. And I mean, Cosmo's kind of useless, but whatever. Ah, oh, there's Pocket Cat. Ah, uh, depressed as always, I want to die. Life's peculiar when you're peculiar, sure! Blah 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 blah, right, he's going off with a bunch of long-winded justifications. Oh shit, I completely missed Ice the Bites Redeem for uh, Favorite Pie because I was distracted by a boss fight. Hold on, let me... Oh wait, I need to actually mash through this because we're losing food in the middle of this conversation. Blah 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 blah. Shut up, let me get to the thing. Let me... No deal. For now. Okay, now I can pause it and not have my hunger constantly ticking down. So first off, where is... Here's... Sunglasses on. Cool mode activated. Secondly, favorite type of pie is Razzleberry. I'm a big fan of berries. At least I was when I could taste stuff. Uh, what can I trade for her? Necronomicon, Claymore, Enlightenment. Enlightenment might actually be a bad idea. One free guaranteed save from anywhere? That might be worth it. Yeah, so I don't like the way the RNG worked out this time. Hey, Leo Ting, that's right. Sunglasses.
So, I think this generally worked out, but I think I'll want to actually trade the little girl for like a Book of Enlightenment or something. And grab Moonless instead. This is expression in a hundred hunger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's in a pretty wretched state. She's pretty much gone crazy with that 17 mind left. And she's like, oh, here's the mine entrance. Okay. So I'll still probably want to reload from last save. But I think we're basically fine. For now, notice person kneeling in the darkness. Show yourself. Who's this person? Oh, it's Nostromus. I remember this guy. Da -da. And let's head along in a bit of a hurry. Right. And I need to hit it the fucking night guardian that he has with an explosive vial. Hello? Oh, okay, now I can move. Be able to actually get into his lab, I believe it was? Also, I'm planning on uh leaving what what's her face? The Jean uh this is where the salmon snake is, isn't it? Oh shit, there's the there's the guy. Run guard. Yes, this ghost is just straight up invincible. Nice. Okay, so this is not quite the layout I'm familiar with. I don't want to fight the ghost again. But can't, like, he has a slashing attack that can take off, like, limbs from the entire party all at once. And that's no good. Oh, but this way's already blast off. Uh, it does not have procedurally generated maps. It has a number of maps that it selects at random when you start up the save file. I have to walk past this guy. There's no other way forward. Uh, that's the salmon snake. Ah, fuck. Didn't have it on guard out. Skills run guard. Yes, work. Yes, work. Okay, we're through. We're through and in one piece. But I do not recognize this mine layout. Yeah, there's like... Oh, fuck no! Oh, God, he still got me with it! You can tell because I'm bleeding and took a bunch of body... Or am I? No, it looks like I've actually still got both hands. Huh. So I got the bleeding status effect. Alright, so I want to cut off an arm... And a leg to prevent the dance. And hopefully they won't smash his torso to pieces. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted, Lizzie. Oh, he's still got Locust Swarm, though. Fuck. Uh, but Dark Priest still has the ability to do stuff, so I can use Skill Talk. Guys, do you serve? Channel Destruction. Grogoroth. And Lizzie killed him. <laughs> yes, apparently you can talk to these guys and get, like, useful shit from them. Wow, I managed to interrupt the hurting with the perfect timing to get the status effect, but not have a limb blown off. And I think I took the damage from it, too. Ooh, opium powders. If only I had a fucking pipe so I'd get high off my ass. If I could, then this game would be a cakewalk right now. Right, so we're in mines, too. No, you don't, motherfucker. No, you motherfucking do not. And cut... We'll just cut both arms, hope that the uh, undead go for his legs, and then try and talk? Nope. Cosmo is too bloodthirsty again. Uh... Sorcerer's Stone? I'm sorry? Is that equipment? Restore... Oh shit, it's this thing! Fuck yeah! Yeah, we got infinite goddamn mine now! Uh, I wonder if we should hack the little girl apart yet. Debating it. Eh, we'll see. Okay, so this layout actually seems the same as last time, which means that we should have a rope somewhere, right? Iron Spear, ever watching Talisman. Uh, Gnome Egg, okay. Do I have a rope? I should be able to check if I have a rope if I have uh, this going on. Smell of Gore, 
Investigate. All right, so I need to. I think I remember where that rope was last time. Isn't that fucking where is it? North side of this place where two people were fucking, and then I still have to get the uh, peculiar plit stone or whatever, which aggroes everyone here. But I definitely want to buy. Yeah, this guy. Ninety-nine silver coins. Jesus. Uh, yeah, explosive vial. I get another one. Oh, pro maulers here. Here, let's get some blue vials, too, since we're not going to have any other use for these coins. Maybe a little bit of food. And then we're going to enter this thing and then immediately leave it to despawn a fucking crow mauler. Because I do not feel like getting mauled by a crow, believe it or not. Alright, more cave dwellers. Who the fuck was it? Was it this one? I think it might have been this one. I could have sworn it was like a two-story thing, where there's a child up there. No, but there's a chest. Oh, and it's locked and I can't open it. Because I am not Kahara and I do not start with lock picking, unfortunately. So yeah, somewhere around here is a two-story building with a rope in it. Ah, it's this one, I think. Iron arrow. Yeah, here's the rope. Perfect. Now we can go down into the, uh, what is it? The wolf pit, I think it's called? It's basically just the super violent orgy where people are constantly eating each other all the time. And I guess I could restore the little girl's hunger there. I wonder if I could restore Lizzie's. Oh well, doesn't matter. I still need a fucking pipe, though. Because, ugh, I have so much opium and so much not pipe to smoke it with. Seriously, six opium, no pipe! Oh wait, but on the other hand, I get my uh, mind back automatically. Yeah, you can eat each other in this game. That's why I give the little girl around, she's food later. Uh, hmm, actually, oh, well, no, I've got Undead who will smash my way through most fights down here. Might be worth just murdering these guys at this point. Just because I do get mine, and they only have like one thing that they can uh, hit you with, and it's the hand, and then you can just hack it off like that. Oh shit. And that's gonna kill him? No, it's not. Now I just have to hope that the uh, undead don't fucking wreck his shit too hard. But Lizzie's bloodlust cannot be contained. And we can get 10 mine at the end of each fight. Which, uh, that's pretty solid. Maybe I should have created what's her face then. Oh well. Uh. I think this will fill up everyone's hunger. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yes, here we go. Violent murder rape orgy. As I remember from last time, the first time you do it, it's fine. If you ever do it again, it's a coin flip to not lose your shit. Yeah, girls all filled up. What's Lizzie looking like? Lizzie's still looking like she's, you know, all skin and bones. Or maybe just bones. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Alright, I think this is also where you meet up with Kahara again, if I actually... The food just falls through Lizzie's bones. Okay. Yeah, a masked gentleman with his dick swinging out. What? Er, sorry, his stinger swinging out. I think it's over here? Where the super awesome thing was? No, maybe it's in the next room where all the ghosts were? Oh, wait, is that it right here? Yes! Fury sword stuck in the wall. Uh, take it. Ask someone else to take it. Cosmic should take it. Okay. So let's leave. Let's leave? I guess he wants us to go really fucking far away, huh? 
Well, Cosmo, your noble sacrifice will not be forgotten. Oh, there's a fucking ghost. Fuck off, ghost. Ah, fuck off, ghost. Skills run and attack because the little girl has, like, a way to damage these fuckers. Alright. Man, not fucking around with- Ah, goddammit. Skills run, little girl attacks. Ah, blocking the path over. Oh, but I do have advantage this time. Uh, can I counter magic this one? Let's try it. Can I counter magic a ghost? No, no effect. Motherfucker. Well, skills run. Little girl attack again. This ghost needs to get the fuck out of the way. Fucking really? Skills run, attack little girl. Actually, I could probably farm mind off this guy pretty easy. Really does not even take a hit even from the... Uh-oh, ruin on Lizzie. Who just took a small amount of damage, which is, I guess, fine, I guess? Does a cursed dagger not hit ghosts? I thought cursed weapons hit ghosts. Okay. What? I thought... What? All right, well, whatever, we're fine, we're fine now. Ah, I just heard him pull it out. Yep, it caved in. That's a large cave in, so, yep, that would have been wherever the uh, thing was pulled. Uh, there is no option for blessed weapons, this isn't that sort of game. I think it's magic in general. Or he tries to escape. Yes. All right, now get the fuck out of the way. We can go check on our boy Cosmo. Ah. Oh no, we're we're gonna have to kill one of these now, aren't we? Uh, let's try talking and seeing how that goes. Because none of these attacks have hit, despite the dagger I believe being cursed. Nope. Real? It's definitely the Cursed Dagger, and I don't have any, like, spells that'll solve this. Ah, uh, fuck. We might be dead here. Yeah, we're pinned here and against a thing that we can't actually damage. Uh, counter magic doesn't work here. Item Priest's Lantern pr might do something, but it won't do much of anything. These are oh, Purifying Talisman is a self-targeting thing, not an enemy targeting thing? Fuck! Uh, I guess skills run and hope they just wander off, because we don't have a way to actually hurt the fucking thing, and it's blocking the path. Nope. We are pinned here. Hmm. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to start over, but the general strategy for what I've got, it works. Because, like, as we can see, zero damage. Oh, shit. Wait, never mind. Okay, she just had shit accuracy and kept missing. Maybe because her mind is so low or because she's so hungry? No, we already finished off her, uh, food. Okay. Ah, uh, ruin on Lizzie again, huh? I don't want- Ah, uh, I wonder if counter magic will prevent that. Doesn't matter! Alrighty. Fucking little girl, OG champ, ceiling has collapsed here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find another way around over to that sword. If I use any explosive violence down here, I'm toast. I might have to circle around a long way or something. Oof. Okay. Or maybe I could have gotten south instead of east to solve that. Because it doesn't look like there's any way to get back over there from this route. And I know there is a long fucking loop we can take. 
very long fucking loop. Uh, there's Crowmaller. He's probably right over here. Nope, he's at the other entrance. All right, cool. Water vial, useless. Give me a pipe. Blueberries, useless. Give me a pipe. Five silver coins, whatever. Give me a pipe. Yeah, hey! Oh, wait, I don't need the pipe anymore because I've already got the fucking... This shit. I wonder if Lizzie goes insane and tries to murder us at low mind. Well... I wonder if I can... Oh, wait. I wonder if I can counter magic her down and then resurrect her and then use the mind ring to bring her back up and then save. Is that worth trying? Well, we'll see. I know you can use counter magic to kill a skeleton if it actually goes after you. Which might happen at zero mind, otherwise the skeleton might just be fine. Ow, fuck off. And there's this room, which has, like, just the chair, white vial. But I've got the pipe now, which means I don't have to rely on the sorcerer's stone to do stuff. Oh, man, I definitely want to save. This is a fucking incredible condition to be in. We can just get around and get that sword again. Yeah! And we're right near here, where I know that there's a bed where... Uh, if you fail the bed, all you get is a cave gnome, which we can easily take care of before they can take any sort of action. Oh, man! This might be the fucking run! Bed... Save and rest. This doesn't matter too much, I don't think, unless Crowmaller shows up, but whatever, we got it anyway. Oh, man, this is beautiful. Lizzie's in kind of shit shape, but... Well, we just saved, and we saved successfully, so I can test out my, uh, counter magic on Lily. Or Lizzie. And see what happens. Oh, can't use it out of combat, though. Ack, ack. Oh, there... Okay, so yes, there's a disable necromancy with the talk command. Okay. We go to skills, go to talk, use it on Lizzie. Disable necromancy. Now she's a skeleton. Can I not resurrect that? Wait, necromancy, greater necromancy. Can I not? So I can't? Well, it's fine. I just saved. I'm gonna leave the room and come back and see if I can't do it afterwards. I am totally willing to blow however much mine I need to blow. To, uh, resurrect her. She's got infinite mind now. I've got the fucking Sorcerer Stone. No, she's just straight gone. Okay, two title screen. I have to take good care of Lizzie, then. Very good care of her. Actually, don't I have, like, the super awesome blue vial? Yeah, light blue vial. Yeah, full heal on her. Bam! Lizzie's back up and fighting fit. Now we can circle around and fight off what's-her-faces and get the awesome sword, give it to someone. Uh... Then... Ah, oh, wait, which way is it to the blood? I think it's this way to get to the blood halls. Then once we have the awesome sword, we can go back to the, uh, trove. Maybe we should sell off... Uh, Crowmaller just walked in. Well, I unguarded him, so we have an easy time running. Yes? Alright. I'd like to lure him out a bit. Yep, later, Chromaller. Yeah, this guy is so easy to evade once you get his AI, how his AI works and have the, uh, what should I call it? Oh, wait, am I gonna have to go back and pull the lever again? Oh, no, it's back up here. So that's perfect. It's a shame we couldn't get Moonless going. But... We can still get another skeleton, and we can still recruit Ragnvald. There, we just have to sell off the little girl of the pedophile instead of uh, chopping her into bits and eating her. Which, uh, hmm, maybe I should get uh, you guys to vote on how that should handle itself. Ancient statue. Uh, go gar bro Garoth, I guess. Maybe I'll do that pole command for once. Uh, where the fuck are the mines? Ah, it's so dark down here. 
So yeah, I'll leave uh, the fate of little girl in your hands. Either we uh, chop her into pieces and eat her. Or we sell her off to this guy. Be up to you, chat. Actually, is there a better way to, like, kill her than just having to rely on that stuff? Oh, but I've got an explosive vial now. So I could go around and, uh, break the armor and speak with Nosramus again, too. Fuck off. Thank you. That is the, uh... Hmm. I do not want to fuck with this guy. This is the Night Lurch. What the fuck is he doing here? Fuck! Hopefully the ghost doesn't fuck us up too bad. He's invincible, so we just have to run, and then we have to go north. We're caught between a night lurch and an invincible ghost. And we just walk past the night lurch. Cool! That that works out! I'm not gonna complain about that. That That's exactly the ideal way that could have gone. Why the fuck was our night lurch there, though? He's usually on, like, the seventh floor. Maybe he's just a wandering enemy now who can appear on any floor till he's dead? Anyway, I'm pretty sure all of the cave guys are gonna be pissed off at us because I killed someone for literally no reason. Or not? Oh, no, they are pissed. Okay. Alrighty. Climb the fuck down. Her hands are shaking. Is her mind all fucked up? Uh, her mind is pretty low. Well, the good news is... Where the fuck did the pipe go? What? Oh, there's the pipe. Why is it over here? Uh, opium on the dark... Found the little girl. All right. Yes, we are drugging the little girl with opium to get her to stop freaking out about this uh, fucking murder, violent, super rape, fuck, death, murder orgy. Ah, fear and hunger. Maybe I should recruit Kahara too, but he doesn't get any skills because he's not the main character. All right, now let's check out this fucking sword that Cosmo sacrificed his existence for. Man, this is all super caved in, huh? Oh, and here comes Chrome Aller, too. Wow, this is all, like, super different now. Ah! Huh. Oh, I wonder if this is where... No, this must be where Cosmo is. Right? At the top of this place? Please? Where the fuck are we? No, like, actually, I thought there was... Well, there's a bunch of herbs here, which is nice. Bunch of herbs, holy shit. But where's the, like... Super awesome sword. Where'd Cosmo, Cosmic go? Come on, man. Don't pull this to me. I didn't sacrifice you for nothing. You got that sword for a reason, right? Maybe I can, like, wind around over here? Skeleton. Eastern Silk Robes. How about you? Charge of Yagagetsu? Huh. I can't resurrect him, unfortunately. What the fuck did I just pick up? Ooh! And Eastern Silk Robes, which drops my physical defense down to shit, but it gives me magic defense? Which I can equip on her, and it's just a straight upgrade, I guess. Purge of Gatsu. Wait, this is a critical hit rate of whoever holds it, huh? Well, I can't equip it on the little girl because I accidentally put the Ring of the Still Blood on her. I guess I'll give that to Lizzie. She's always attacking. Ah. Uh, Oh, this leads back into the fucking place where Rackenvalder is and the other skeleton. 
Which, I mean, A, cool, B, where my fucking, uh, swords go, though? I want to get that sword. That sword is, like, the best sword. Yeah, let's go down another one and explore some more. Back to the mines. Can't go over there. Oh, there has to be something. Some way to find him. Some way to get something. Come on, man. Oh. Is that over there where he died? Again? Or, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, sword is nowhere to be seen. You're fucking with me. Sword is nowhere to be seen. Oh, god damn it. Where to be seen? Maybe someone else grabbed it off his corpse while I was circling around? Mm. I don't know if they ability to get hurting to deal with that uh, other fucking ghost that's going on here. Hmm. So what's the play here? What is the play here? Maybe I can head back and get Kahara? I think he's still in his jail cell? He'll steal something from us, and then we'll, uh... Huh? Oh, that's a wall? Okay. Hmm. That's a real shame. Maybe I have to go the other way to get it. Blue vial, wheat flour, north while. Thirty chest. What do we got? Ooh, heads. French goat. I forgot one of those. And so I should have advantage over him. Yes. Target the arms. Target the arms. Lizzie will just do whatever. Tackle! Fucker! And mine regenerates. I really wish I had one of those healing spells right now, though. Uh, may as well actually just run, huh? Ta tackle still? Seriously? Do we need to cut, like, both of his legs in order to stop tackling? That's annoying. All right, um... Oh, watch your face isn't over here. Deliver our coins, turn up. What if I could use an explosive vial down in the mines? That's my only other guess here, that I could use an explosive vial to clear those mines. Right, let's just... Whoa! What the fuck was that? Ambushing attack, what a dick. What the fuck is this guy's- Jesus! Yeah, that'll kill him entirely. Man, I really wish I had a healing spell. Got brain to spare, but I don't have any useful, uh... Healing. What the hell was the- Oh, let me go to... Craft item. Yes, light blue vials are amazing, because they heal like a hundred, whereas the regular blue vials heal like twenty. So yes, I spent the equivalent of two vials of items to create a thing weak from hunger. Oh, I guess he is weak from hunger. Already? We didn't do that much wandering around, did we? I guess maybe we did. Damn, though.
What if hunger, like, accelerates as you get deeper in? Why am I giving this girl around? Aren't I gonna sacrifice her? Uh, climb down. Alright, I'm gonna make one last attempt at hurling an explosive vial at this shit. And if that doesn't work... Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll recruit Kahara? Some major shit going down here. I don't like it. Ceiling has collapsed. Ceiling has collapsed. Bless the vial, please. That's all I'm asking for. Nope. No prompts for it. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. Well. I guess I'll uh, shoot for the Eastern Sword, then. Anything else I want to do? No, I guess I just want to backtrack all the way up there. Uh, get Ragnvalder. Maybe get Kahara instead, in case he's still got, like, escape plan. I want to see if Kahara comes with any useful skills when I recruit him. So I'm going to go back up to the third floor. Alright, these guys don't have anything even if you search them. Oh, there's a ritual sp here. here. Aside from that, nothing. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go back up to the third floor, get some of my shit stolen by Kahara, and then head back down into the mines? Because I think that's where he shows up again. I think I remember that. Uh, wait, what's the best way to get to him, actually? Uh... I think it, it... Maybe I should go uh, for a side trip at Nesramis, then. While we're over here. Deal with that fucking... Yeah, this dickhead. Hmm. I thought I had on guard out, but it didn't give me advantage over him. Okay, nope, we got out of here. Alright, so here's his corpse. Attack the armor. Item, explosive vial on him. Girl, just attack anything. This should break, like, all of his parts. Yep. Instantly down. Perfect. Oh, another pipe. So here's Nosramus. It was basically just Anki again. For purpose, blah, blah. Oh. Uh, bah? How do you stay safe in this darkness? Um, uh, okay, well, whatever. Right, let's see what we can get from him. Did we get anything good? Nope. Uh, ooh! Bunch of vials, nice. Uh, he gets pissed at you if you open the chest, I remember that much. Uh, hexen table, that's right. I, do I have souls to use here? No, I don't have any lesser souls, so I can't do any of that shit, unfortunately. What? And Crowballer showed up while I was in the fucking... Ah, whatever. Oh, Lord, give enlightenment. Right, that's another thing. If I can find another empty scroll somewhere. Ooh, heads, what do we got? Alchemia. Don't I have Alchemia? Oh, whatever. We're just stealing his shit. No. That book page is two. Silver coins. All right. Now let's get out of here before we get pinned someplace we don't want to get pinned by Crow Mauler. Can we check this? Nope. All right. Ah, what else are we gonna do? No, I think it's probably just time to recruit Kahara? Maybe? 
Oh, fuck. Did I get the... I do! Okay. Uh, I have anything worth using here. Throwing knife, throwing dart. Screw it. Let's just attack him. And see how this goes. Loose its balance. Ooh, okay. Let's try to get its head going. Wow! Flawless! On guard is a broken scale again. And search him. Um, something shiny. Five silver coins. Alright. Well, balls. Oh, another place to pray. Uh, Gorgoroth again. I think that'll boost our effect that we've prayed to him three times now. God, I really should have another party member, though. Rift Cosma. Well, I can probably go get Kahara. And that's blocked off and leads to the Salmon Snake. Chromaller is somewhere in these tight mines where he's gonna be a fucking pain in the dick to dodge around. Or he's like at the. Oh no, he's right here. But I got on guard out. So I can run. Right? Please? No? No? Uh oh. Now I might be doing some deep shit. This might be a death. Okay, we got away. Thank God. Uh, how the fuck are we gonna dodge around him? Okay, we're gonna do... Uh, no, this might work if we can flee without getting... fucking mauled immediately right off the bat. Okay, we can. Now we're gonna head left and down. Weak from hunger again? Bitch, I just fed you! Not a whole lot, but still. Very tempted to hack off all her limbs and turn into food at this point. Right, well, we don't have any other magic weapons. Fuck. I don't have any way to deal with ghosts right now. Ah, I guess I'll have to keep her around. At least until I can find some soul stones or something. Alright, so back up to here, get Kahara. Get my shit stolen by Kahara. And hunt down back to the mines to recruit Kahara. I think that's somewhat of a plan. And I was just making blazing progress at the start with On Guard crushing the Elite Guard and getting the fucking Philosopher's Stone, but now it's not so great. I wonder if there is a good way to kill Crow Mahler. Probably not the current condition. Maybe with like a cursed claymore or something. Uh, where the fuck was Kahara? Oh, right. What's this guy? I think it is a soul stone if I get this call correctly. Yeah! There we go. I wonder if we can use it on the night lurching it's on the suite. Maybe we should go for a lesser soul to upgrade our shit more, maybe? I have to double check the hexen table. Alright. Open up on this. And then there's Kahara over there. We grab him, we head over to the place. We should be all good. Let me out of here. Why are we in prison here? Ba ba. Yeah, let's have him join the party. He'll steal something from us. Does he have equipment? Not anymore, he don't. So the moment we leave the floor, he should take his shit and be gone. And... Watch. Light blue vial. Ooh, that's the super strong one, isn't it? Ah, I thought I had this arm opened. Well, let's see how much damage we can spit out. 197... 120... 200. Nothing. All right. Well, let's head down and grab him, then. Should be at, like, the end of the mines. 
Who the fuck was that? There's a shortcut to the end of the mines that we took to get back up here, right? Isn't that like over here? Roughly, I think? Somewhere around here, right? Yeah, right here. So we can take this back down and get it to him from behind. And have a Kahara in the party who can use two-handed weapons. It'll be our only two-handed weapons user. I think? I think that's how this works. Really a shame that we lost, like, the super best sword in the game from what I've heard of that thing. And Cosmo. Eh. Maybe we'll find another skeleton later. Alright, so... I could use Explosive Vial here, but I'm not gonna. I'm pretty sure that's just a straight instant death. I mean, it certainly was last time, and ooh. I can't get any further back from here. With Kahari out of the picture, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'd have to walk around the long way again? To get Kahara over? That part may as well load the old save. Oh, fuck this organ. I could check out the trees. I know there is a skeleton and a dragon while they're there. Yeah, this tree. Oh, wait, is this a skeleton right here? Oh, fuck yeah! Another skeleton? Hell yeah! Sweet fucking hell yeah! Exactly fates too, nice! Kwakalaka has joined the party! Oh, and Lizzie's not completely nuts at this point, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, he swiped the uh, scimitar! Heh <laughs> Ah, he'll get the camera on this all. Wipes the, uh, scimitar from Gahara on his way out. Fuck is this? Huh. Wonder what the fuck that guy was. Hope that wasn't what happened to Kahara. Hoping to use him, but whatever, we got a full party now. So fuck him! Let's just keep on going! How did they even force the door open with four party members? How's it gonna go? Miss. Oh, damn! Nice! We can get through wooden doors now. Uh, Book of Enlightenment? Right, that's a guaranteed drop. I remember that from last time. Do the other books have stuff? Hmm. A lot of blood here for some reason. Uh, pray to grow Goroth again? And uh, I guess we'll move on. It's a shame we couldn't get that awesome sword. Maybe we can get that uh, Chaos Katana. I go, oh wait, another one? Uh, did that cat for on guard or are we gonna run? Uh, run away with this rare chance. Then we're gonna on guard him. I hope that on guard actually went through. Didn't seem to, unfortunately. Critical Slash? Wait, Quaka Luck is bleeding? What the fuck? Alright, so we're out of there this time. <sighs> Give me the fucking ambush! Give me that fucking ambush! Uh, no, what happened last time is that I got hit with the brain flower thing, which gave me the confusion status, and then I used the, uh, super awesome katana to deal six times my maximum HP in one go. By hitting myself with it. There we go, now we have ambush over the enemy. Uh, claws, I guess? Miss. Weak, ooh, arm cut, nice. Torso hit, okay, I guess. Alright, horns broken off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We do not want to cut that flower. I want to go for the head. 
Rico slash on Quark Lock again. Jesus. Oh, um, he takes it out. Nice. Uh, yeah, there's a soul stone here. Might be a lesser soul. Another five silver coins? Weird. Uh, both these guys are basically fine. I'll want to curse some equipment, though. And thankfully, there's a Hexen Taylor right here. I thought, wait. Isn't that... Where the heck? I thought there was a hexen table here. Ah. Well, I could go ahead and get ending E like right now, but I don't see the points. I definitely need to get a magic weapon on Enki just in case of ghosts or, you know, some sort of reliable magic damage. All right. That definitely was an on guard on him. Perfect. Uh cut his sword arm. Okay, that'll take out one leg. Rocket Locker takes out the other leg. Uh, one arm down. Everyone go for the head. Come on, guys, go for the head. Fuck! And we got an infection in the leg, which means we're gonna have to cut the fucking leg off. Might be worth loading at that point. Ah, that's such a pain. Open, and he's dead by now, right? Yeah. Was my initial mission failed? Wasn't my initial mission to kill the guy? Thought I was supposed to kill the guy. Huh, wait, the girl knows him? Where did we get that scene last time? Uh, hmm. Oh, and Broken Bone? What the fuck does that heal off? Ah, uh, I don't want to have to cut off a leg. If I could... No, I can't marriage with a girl. I'd have to kill her. Uh, wait, no, no. There's herbs that cure infection, right? Okay, what do I got here? Uh, red corrosive, black growth hormone. Ah, Crow, fuck off! I'm reading. Black plus yellow, blue plus oil, heightened senses. Okay. Red plus yellow, adrenaline boost, poisonous effects, antidote for the poison. Interesting. Not that relevant. Antidote to poisoning. Pretty sure it was like red herb. No, that's body. Green herb. Yes. Okay, so you don't have to chop off a limb. Are we open this one? I mean, this is going okay. Not not great, but okay. I don't like how Enki has a limb yeah, broken. Oh, but well we can use doors to restore mind? Interesting. Okay. That's a useful thing to keep in mind. We do get ten mind back whenever we challenge a door to a fight. Your footsteps in the darkness? Oh, it's Nasramus. Hey, buddy, what are you doing over here? Alright, so I think I need to get the mysterious cue from the cave dweller's place, which is kind of a trick. Maybe we should have gotten that earlier. All right, well, whatever, whatever. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck was that? Now to get an ambush on him. We did not get an ambush on him. I'm just gonna run and get an ambush on him. Cause fuck that. Much better, ambush easily this time. This guard left arm, guard stinger. Leg, okay. Other leg. Well, we can take out his head easy enough. He wait, okay. Okay, I thought there was a third thing that was glowing with an exclamation part. And look, it gets his head off. And he better not do like a tackle or something at the end of this round. Pollen, uh oh, who's that hitting? Little girl. Ah, uh, does it worm juice cure pollen? 
Because this is what happened last time. We had someone got pollinated and started attacking the rest of the party. Okay, worm juice cures pollen, replaces it with poison, white vials, and an antidote to poison. Maybe I should have just killed her instead. Small key, alright, well that's something. Alright, yeah, and we got, like, we can't get in here. We can't into Mahabra. Investigate. Cube-shaped hall, yep. Alright, so we're gonna have to backtrack to the village. Ah, you're all starting to feel hungry. Everyone's starting to feel hungry. Have any good food? I mean, I guess I have the dried meat. Moldy bread. Raw meat? Oh, and lots of grilled meats. That'll be fine. Alright, so... I don't want to use the Book of Enlightenment yet. Because this isn't like a super amazing thing like it was up to the point I got the Sorcerer's Stone and sacrificed Cosmo for apparently nothing. Oh, hey, Crow Mahler. Uh, we do not want to be in that corner, please. Yeah, I wonder what's up with that. Yeah, normally there's like at least 10 or 15. Maybe it's because I got connection errors like immediately afterwards and for 20 minutes afterwards. After I put up the stream, so they looked in and saw within the first 20 minutes of the stream going up on Twitter and saw that nothing was going on. I was like, huh, what's up with that? And then possibly fucked off. Oh yeah, there's a lot more people. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take the fucking long way around. What if there's sort of special... Yeah, it might be because it's a Friday. Maybe there's special events. Ooh, bottle of whiskey. That's kind of actually kind of useless. Cabbage. I really wish I could learn hurting. Wait, I could maybe... I have a lesser soul now, so I could probably learn it from Grogoroth, right? There's a hexen table around here, right? Ah, uh, where the fuck's the best way to do this? I have to go back to the village. It's going down here, going around the other way. Ah! Sacrificing Cosmo was such a bad choice. Alright, let's head over to wherever the village was. There's the dead cave mother. I have to wonder how those fucking vials heal skeletons. I don't give a shit about gnomes. I can bully gnomes all day. Watch. Hey! Does not even matter! Oh, what? Miss? Don't have two more misses, please. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cave gnomes are not even remotely an issue. Even if I can't get on guard, I have such a huge turn economy advantage over them. That it's... It's whatever. The fuck is Dark Priest so scared of these guys? I'm gonna let this hunger get to like, I don't know, 40 or so and then try to uh, cook the meat and see how that goes. There shouldn't be anything significant left down here. Uh, I could take a whack at the Salmon Snake. Or can I force the door open? I don't know what kind of- oh, it's a wooden door. Oh yeah, we know they force this open, easy. I just don't see any reason to actually fight him. Yeah, this guy. Not worth fighting. So I'm gonna just head back to the village instead. And hey, there's a guy. that guy's still down. Oh yeah, that's another thing to pray, but it's not another hexen table, so we'll just ignore it for now. Wonder how impossible it is to take on Crumolar at this point. Well, whatever. See, right, we need to fight our way through all of this bullshit. That shouldn't be too bad. To get ourselves the water vial uh, stick. Let me pause this and turn the music back on. 
Because I turned that off just for that one boss fight. And we are not in that one boss fight because Lizzie just fucking beheaded it. Ale, nice. Red vial. Ooh, I might be able to use something with that. Oh, you're a hostile, right? Yep. Ah, eh, whatever. You probably take it out with a torso shot or whatever. Rock smash. Going out fast? Jesus. I mean, what's better than Winamp? I have asked around what people thought would be better than Winamp. And I've gotten consistently told uh, Winamp is pretty much just the best thing. There's no nothing that's an actual upgrade. And also, Kalaka taking a ton of damage. Holy shit. Maybe I'll drop a light blue vial on him. Uh, oh, and little girl's almost done, too, huh? Eh. At this point, I still almost want to reload and... ...try and get, like, less food burned through? There's FUBAR 2000, yeah. Winamp has plugins for everything, which I love. Oh, another pipe. Oh, uh, wait. Can't, uh, Quaka get the... Yeah, wooden block layer. Don't need the... You don't give a shit about the ever-watching talisman. You don't even have a brain. Uh... I'm gonna talk to him and see what happens. Ack, ack. Lexus' arms? Okay. Whatever. Whatever, you're not a, a real issue. Well, hopefully you're not a real issue. Rock Smash coming out fast, goddamn! Fuck off with that shit. And hitting the little girl for a ton, but I mean, I guess she also doesn't have armor, so whatever. I don't like how they're getting hits before we're getting hits. I really don't need to rely on On Guard to avoid getting my shit wrecked, huh? I think it's over here. Alright, so On Guard should give us a surprise round. Yes. Take off the arm ASAP. What the fuck, guys? Get your head in the game. Goddamn skeleton slacking off. All right. Uh, I think it's over here where the cube is. Okay, so we did definitely get on guard, which is perfect. Uh, let's just shoot straight for the torso and hopefully kill him before he does anything. Really? Really? Fucking stab you on the torso and you still got to tackle off? Fuck off. Fuck off. I don't blew her out of the deal at least. Cube! Now I wander back down to the ancient city. We should have taken that one as soon as we did this and pissed them all off and just fought our way out. Would have been so much simpler and faster. I might still reload from a previous save to get this done. God damn, on guard is the best shit. So much the best shit. Yeah. Oh man, this is an appropriate theme considering the party composition. A dark wizard, two skeletons, and a random little girl? I mean, the random little girl should be replaced with like a witch or something, but I like this getup. I like this party. Skeletons are nice. Uh, yeah. Now I have to go trekking through the thing again. Ugh. Almost makes me want to reload this save point before getting the Sorcerer's Stone. Just to see if I can't, uh, get that sword with the ghoul or something. Ah, oh, wait, this is the wrong way. What if I can kill Miss Ramus? Hmm, not worth jacking. Anyway, should I pass by, like, a hexing table on the way over there? God, this is so much backtracking, because I've 
fucking collapsed the mine getting loan for a sword that I didn't even get. Ah, oh, I'm still so mad about that. So fucking mad about that. Alright, back to the thing, then we go over to the other thing, then we do the thing again. Fuck. Burning through so much food for no benefit whatsoever. The inefficiency is pissing me off. But whatever, we can keep going. Seemingly distressed. Oh yeah, her mind's below half. Uh, oh, accidentally gave ale to me. That didn't do shit. Whatever. We got the little girl high on opium and then fed her ale. That's not going to have any disastrous consequences whatsoever. That's just not how biology works. People don't get fucked up when they mix painkillers and uh, alcohol. It doesn't happen. Don't be silly. Well, I was down there. Probably could have checked to see if Kahara would join, but. He's kind of a waste of space at this point. He was basically just a free scimitar. Well, not even a free scimitar. In exchange for my light blue vials, which I'm now out of, which does kind of bite. I did get another weapon. But, honestly, it's not that much better than the, uh, short sword we already had? That was probably a dumb exchange to make. We'll just leave him to rot next time if I reload. Well, anyway, we're going to be exploring a place that I have never been to before, because you don't actually have to go there at all to get Ending E. Alright, there are a bunch of ghouls there, too. I wonder if I can kill those with counter magic. I know you can kill skeletons with counter magic, but I've never fought ghouls. Ghouls don't even have a coin flip. You just go, and you're good. Hopefully it works. I'll be happy if it works. And the doors are ready. Now we're in the fucked up place. Ancient city of Mahabra. I have no- oh, weak from hunger again? Oh god, almost everyone's weak from hunger. Dried, dried meat. Okay, so dried meat does 30. We need to stop having a little bit of health taken off by that. It's annoying. What the fuck was that noise? Ah, it was a ghoul, which I definitely just got an ambush on. Uh, counter magic. This should be an instant kill. Yes! Aha! So yes, as long as we get an, an on guard in to get a preemptive strike... This one budge, then? No, oh, none of them will budge. Uh, the ghouls in this area, which have infections that are actually... Poison dart, what the fuck? What's going on? Motherfucker! Alright, yeah, I'm definitely gonna reload. There's something here that has poison darts. Wait, what? Why can I not? Oh, fuck. I see. And then there's a scripted thing where he runs away after poisoning the fuck out of us? God damn it. I think I ought to surprise run on him off, though, right? Yes. Hankman sees devotion to the attendance of sin has. Anki X Skeleton, Anky best X marriage. Does that even work? Best marriage. Body snatcher? Okay, so I've got no clue what this dude's deal is, and I probably... Wow, we took a ton of damage from those darts, too! Anyway, hey, Comancy, thank you so much for the follow. I'm gonna get the other one. And I don't say... Or not follow, for the free subscription! And I don't say this to a lot of people, but you're actually my favorite subscriber! Because you're one of my longest-running ones, and one of the best chatters here. Alright, so no more fucking poison darts, fuck you. Oh, God, we take ten, body? At the start of everything? Jesus Christ! Alright, well, that was horrible. 
French coat, throwing dart. What's even the point of the beat it option? Oh man, this bites. Then are we constantly losing body because of poison? It doesn't work, then orange must have removed it and not take that. Oh, okay. I mean, I've never tried it. I don't enjoy looking at dicks all day, it turns out. And the marriage does not have pants. Which I am not a fan of. Bill's counter magic, whatever, with the girl. Bam. Instant disruption. Nice! Oh, that's so cool. That is so fucking sweet. And Bloody Man's not gonna have anything of value. Can't tell if Body's constantly ticking down in the overworld. Man does not have a stinger. Oh, another one. Oh. I'm hitting the skeleton, alright. Uh, oh, but I do have advantage anyway, what the fuck? Yes, that's correct. I like everything about Fear and Hunger except the constant dick. Alright, sorry, stingers. God, that is such a huge payoff. All of these enemies that I can just, like, snap my fingers and gone. I like the brutality, I like the cruelness, I like the unfairness. Coffin is sealed tight, coffin is sealed tight. Anything useful in this room? No? Just an empty locked room? For no reason? Yeah, I mean, I like the unfairness, I like the tone, I like the sheer absurd cruelty of it, I just don't like looking at dick. Okay, got a quill. I probably could have blown a lucky thingy there, whatever. Oh, I don't need it. Spider shield. Ah, uh, that's an upgrade over the wooden buck there, right? Yeah! Maybe... I should make Lizzie, like, the tankiest. With 91 fucking defense. Uh... Longsword better than the... Demitar? Yes. Okay. So Lizzie's been here the longest, even though she has the worst uh, health right now. And it looks like poison doesn't tick out outside of combat, which is nice. It's only 10 when you're in combat, which is weird. Right, and I need to eat more food. Because I want to get... Oh, music started up. I can cancel my music. Uh, multi bread, I guess. Right, yeah, I saw part of this once when I accidentally made a mare and lost all of my good gear. But I never saw anything, like, significant here. And I was already, like, super infected and fucked up when I got there. Lots of items here, though. That's good. I like having items. Okay, house. Oh, wait. We went here with the book, didn't we? Uh, chair? Great to look at modern leather work on that chair as well. Yeah, bears had its way with him. Really? Fuck. Ah, uh, I was hoping to get another scroll so I could, I don't know, learn hurting or whatever and get the super katana. Other pipe. All right, ancient cityscape. Oh, yeah, I got my 10 views back up to... I mean, it's not how it's supposed to be. It's usually around 15. This has been for a while, but... Up to 10 views now, I guess people have been sort of gradually trickling in. Hey, some light going. Weird. Okay, can't even challenge those doors. I see a lever up there. Can you do anything here? No? Okay. Yes, I know basically nothing about this part. Five tinder boxes. Stone. Pass an abysmal connection coming from squatting in chat tonight. Ah, you too, huh? Because when I hit go live, I didn't have internet for the next 20 minutes. 
gets immediately shat out on me the moment I hit go live. Also, welcome, Alaras. All right, this thing. Human, ba da ba. Right, yeah, this thing doesn't have anything useful to say. I remember that much. And I can't directly attack it for whatever reason. What the fuck is the purpose of fine coins? I still do not get it. Oh, it's a way ahead over here. Okay. Uh, more over here. All right, all right. What's with the constant the darkness engulfs you? Does that mean I should light a torch to keep my mind up or something? God, little girl needs more booze in her. Huh? The fuck is that? Harry Beast is dragging someone into the beast. I did not get an on guard out in time, I think. Lord of the Flies. Uh, can we run from this, please? And try again with on guard active. Yes, we can. Excellent. All right. Now we can get a surprise round and just chop off whatever and then run. Miss. All right, skeleton, pick up the slack. Wow, I didn't do shit. Oh, yeah, we probably lost a bunch of health from poison, didn't we? All right, so we escaped successfully. Hmm. But if we couldn't cut off the arm even in one full round, I don't think damage to a limb gets stored between rounds. Uh, does the head kill him? Yes! We're both gonna die from poison, though, which is fine. I want to reload anyway. Two blue herbs, okay. Well, we can keep going for a bit, I guess. We have so many blue herbs, actually. Holy shit, why am I not doing shit with this? Craft that. All of them. Right, and this makes stuff. But I can't make that, but I can make this. Tightens your senses. Purple, oh, okay. White vial, antidote to poisoning. Red vial and yellow vial. Oh, we got, okay. So, uh, whatever. And we got a light blue vial. Which... I guess I may as well feed to Anki for now so I can do a little bit of scouting while this is all going down. Wait, didn't I? Where, where did the light blue vial go? Oh, there it is. Oh! It heals exactly 80, okay. Then, uh, I got a bone saw, right? More book pages, throwing darts, small steeds. Blah, blah, blah. We, we do have a bone saw, right? I... Oh, wait, there it is. We have three of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna sacrifice her. Oh, no, I'll cut off two of her legs, I guess. Wanna keep the last arm for stabbing dudes. And the rest of her will be kept around as food. Because we're not gonna get much further going on. Uh, we're not gonna get much further, realistically, because we're still dying from poison. We have no healing supplies. We do have an antidote, though. I do want to reload soon, because I've wasted so much shit making no progress. We'll just keep her around as, uh, well, she'll lose stability if we have both legs cut, so I guess we'll do that for now. And wait, is she not even bleeding from that? Oh, right, because she's the ring of the still blood. Oh, have I ever got an ending? Yes! I got the ending E with Kahara after, like, a bunch of streams and lots of tears and frustration. Lots of small keys. 
Which is the one where you get just stuck in the dungeon and there's nothing real that happens. Beyond that, I have gotten absolutely no endings and have no idea what's going on. Lone Tower Rising in the Darkness. Soul Devour Necklace? What the fuck is that? Ooh, Cursed Short Sword? Hell yeah! Now I don't need the girl much at all! So what the fuck is this, uh... Soul Devour Necklace? Protects against otherworldly powers? Eh? Uh, yeah, it is the ending. Oh, no. Uh, it is sort of the ending where you flee, three you get down to the bottom and then flee, and then it's like... Not fragment of stick. I think I got him guard out. Yes. Wow, that's a weird looking thing. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Windows. This girl's probably about to die from poison. Or will definitely die from poison at the next round immediately. So it's probably worth just clearing her entirely. Uh, search him. Nothing of value. Ignore him. I want to get the fucking... Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, I can take an extra step into the wall from there. Huh. That's probably not intentional. Alrighty, yeah, she's just gonna die of poison, like, next round. Maybe I should hack off the rest of her limbs, then. She's toast anyway, might as well get a little bit of food out of it. There goes her other arms, she can't hold the cursed dagger. Yeah, and when I go to ending E with Kahara... I wound up having to, like, cut off both of her legs and- or- I think she had, uh, off a leg. Can I saw off an arm a second time? Because, yeah, I can't saw off the, uh, parts of a person for food while they're dead for some reason. Alright, now that she's, uh, quadruple amputee, I have to use a bone saw on her again. Unfortunately, she- <laughs> oh, she just slides around. Okay. Cool. That doesn't look doofy. Here, cube of death. Let's see what happens. Ah! Uh, Power of the Endless. Sure, let's go up. Let's have this little girl sliding on the ground the whole time. Yeah, this is the same music that was getting played with the, uh... One book that I had that one time. Is the movement behind there scripted? People are, like, catching up with me when I step behind it. And just blah blah blah. Nothing but bed in the room. I'm not saving like this. With one of my combatants totally fucked up. Although it is good to know that there is a save point here. That is important. That is useful information. When I die and reload, I'll be sure to, uh... Seriously, is there no script moving here? Only when I step on that last tile! Weird! What's up with that? Thing left here. Yeah, she'll uh, poison out the next time we get into combat. Okay, so I guess we're back in the past. Maybe what we need to do here is wander back over to uh, where that idol was with block and stuff. Cold sun rays burn your skin? Yeah, that's the stuff we raided earlier. Okay, nice. Cold sun rays burn your skin? What the fuck? So, okay. Yeah, this is where we were in the past and where I looted some stuff. Interesting. And is that one guy there? No. No, it's not. God's entering with humans being left at the side? Huh. 
can use the key for the death here. Can I uh, warp back? Yes. Okay. So let's stick to uh, the past for now, so I don't think we can make any real progress in the future. In the hole there. Uh, who? The fuck is this? Uterus? Uh, uterus? Left arm. Left leg, head, torso, embryo. I feel like this is going to be one of those situations where the torso, or the embryo, is the thing that kills it if I hit it. Uh, let's have our last term be... Yeah, just pocket explosive vial with our last life. What does this do? Close up both arms, nice. Yeah, the monster's blocking the door. Oh, wow, 1 HP even from being poisoned, okay. Oh, and wait, he's fighting without his head. The head's still there. Eh, one more explosive vial. I'm not. I'm just going whatever. This may or may not confirm that you need to kill the embryo. Ooh, okay. Okay, so the two options are uterus, torso, and embryo. Go for uterus, torso. Character can't die from poison damage. Huh. Well, that might have been useful enough previously. Oh well. I uh, guess the body has like infinite health? Eh, let's keep pounding on it. Let's see what happens. Well, skeletons are gonna go 50 50 on hitting the baby or not. Embryo stands up, and it's got a knife! Oh no! Is she just pounding on it with, it, with her stumps? Regular stab, 17. Okay. Uterus will not go down. Critical staff. 22 and bleeding. Well, Enki's gonna... Oh no, you can't die from poison damage, so it's fine. Okay, so baby died? Torso dies afterwards, okay. What the fuck? Well, whatever. Uh, I have like a white thing somewhere, right? Yeah, I made one. And I can use whatever I've got left for blue vial. Do I have blue herbs left anywhere? Got blue berries. Can the part regen limbs? I think there's a spell that does it. Metropolis Girl Golem plagiarism? I have no idea what you're referencing, so maybe. Nothing of use from the uterus. Okay. So big ol' scary fucking monster here. Might be better to, uh... Seize it out with kiting. Girl is starting to feel hungry. Y you're at 1 HP and you don't have any fucking limbs. Do you really think I give a shit? Dark Freeze is starting to feel hungry. Well, fortunately for us... Yeah, there we go. One leg. There's like 30 food? Wow. Maybe should I just... Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Roll of the Swordsman. Okay. Well, I might as well use it right away. I'm not going to get another shot at that, I guess. Did I learn anything from that? I don't think I got anything from that. Oh, hey! This is a bot that spams, like, virus links or something. Maybe I should kill Cutly Lynx. Ben and Snowball 337. Alright. Cotton meat, vile whiskey. Well, I guess we'll keep going for now.
Oh, it's another mannequin. Uh, I'm gonna just run. Fuck it. I don't really want to learn what these things actually do. Or how they work. Unable to escape, huh? Miss, huh? Rusty Claw. Hmm. Oh, and the embryo immediately falls out? Uh, let's try running again. I wanted to find out whether or not these things are just not runnable from. Free slider is just one thing. Uh, I guess you can technically chuck a stone. I did don't care well skin. Alright. More power to you then, I guess. Okay, so you can run from these. That's important. The fuck are you? Well, if we can run from these... Oh! Embryo's already up and stabbing! Okay! Uh, so if you run from these, don't ever fight them again! Got it! Uh, uh throwing dart. On the embryo. Yeah, these fuckers have a ton of health, so if I don't have that super awesome katana, I'm just not gonna bother with them. Uh... Oh, this is a path? Okay. Bear trap? Nice. Blue vial? Nice. Another blue vial! Well, we can craft up something useful. Oh, two of them, even! Nice! Alright, so what do we got going on here? Oh, it's another one? Fuck off. At least they're really slow! And therefore probably too much- not too much of a threat? Just because they're probably too hard to outrun? Ooh, nice, what's in here? Another bear trap. Lord. A lot of those. Another bone sock? So we need three of those. What? Uh, I saw that to the artifacts even with the pressure to me. 84, what do you want to trade them for? Oh, baby! Holy shit! Uh, sorcery stone is a viable thing in here. Okay. Uh, good to know. But also, soul stone. Please and thank you! So, yes, you can just buy the infinite, uh, infinite mind thing. If I can learn the healing spell... Oh, well, we're at the door, so it's fine. The girl is looking for comfort. She's seemingly distressed. Bitch, you ain't got limbs! You're poisoned, you're at 1 HP. I do not give a sh Shit, if you're in a mad mood. The uh, fuck is that? A uh, spider! Well, uh, wait. Not chasing us, just doing his own thing? Oh, 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 okay? More ghosties. These don't do anything. Yeah, I gotta do something, else she'll throw a temper tantrum and leave again. With all of her non-limbs. She's literally just sliding along the ground like a corpse at this point. Feels like the implications that we're supposed to be dragging her, like on a leash or whatever? Ah, whatever. What's over here? Uh... Huh. Oh, no, shut up. I don't care anymore. I read it once. Okay. Yeah, shut up, girl. Hey, creepy eyeball on the wall. Uh, ominous music? Okay. I guess this is like the prison thing? Creature floating inside, no eyes. Here. 
Okay. Herbal vial, nice. Why, why, why? What is the secret? Why don't it work? I guess someone's trying to resurrect the dead or something. Very tense and afraid. Girl, do you think I give a shit? Hey, well, at least I'm giving this area to a mental map, but I'm surprised I survived this long. Uh, oh, those are fetuses, and I think they are eating the uterus. Uh? You can just give it the depths to escape them. Girl looks very tense. Who cares, girl? Okay. The Fellowship. That's a lore book, if I recall. Oh, Lord gives Soul Stone. Noted. Lucky. Oh, and you can probably do, like, Oh, Lord, give or teach basically anything, huh? I just have to guess the right thing a couple of times. It wouldn't be too hard. Nothing worthwhile. Ah, I should have used a lucky coin. Ah, whatever, it's fine. Scroll of the Church of Healing? Really? Oh, baby! That is some good shit! Right there. Now all I need is a fucking food spell. And that'll be good! Food and, uh... Homes of Love and Torments. That's another lore book. All right, so what do we got? Two tails? That's what I thought. Wow, there's a thing over there moving. Fuck are you, an elephant? Oh, a greater mumbler. Right, I know about these. Uh, I don't know if I'd have heard him, unfortunately. Ah, whatever. Let's just focus on the torso, how the little girl used, list whatever. It don't matter. Hey, Mithril Diggy! We chopped all the little girl's arms and have been using her as rations. Maybe we should run now. We got some mind back. Your new cup. Uh, sure, just don't expect me to click on any links while I'm streaming since I have to kill both browsers to, uh, get enough memory for it. Run work, please? And I don't think my connection is strong enough. Hopefully that got me in an ambush. Nope. Run. Oh, the, uh, emote! Okay, nice! Let's try this again. That'll that'll count, right? Nope. One more try. Ah, uh, I wonder if Dan went through before ambush went. Okay, nope, nope. Okay, we got this. Let's target the legs. Not the little girl can do anything. Cause you'd have got no limbs. It is delightfully grim. I love it. Honk. Oh, wow. Nice crit from Lizzie. Mumbler's head explodes on me. Oh. Well, fuck. Even grimmer on hard. Well, if I can beat this... Uh, do I have a growth? No, that's the little girl's leg. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's also Black Souls, which I've heard is interesting. What? Okay. Lots of books here, though. Holy shit. Another Alchemia. Even Grimmer- Right, I remember hearing that on hard mode, the, uh... 
What's the result? The guy that you're supposed to rescue is always dead and there's nothing you can do about it? Alright, so now we're back in the dark town. Seemingly distressed. Fuck off. Uh... Fuck are you? Oh, it's o oil. Okay. I thought that was a person covered in, like, weird shadows or whatever. What the fuck is this? Huh. Pearl looks very t <sighs> Why do you think I care? I am totally happy to have her hit zero mind. Okay, so this is awesome library here that could almost definitely give me some amazing shit if I hit it up and get all this stuff in there. I'll have to keep that in mind. So he is extremely powerful. Interesting. Oh wow, and their position is saved. Uh... I'm just go for a run. I wish there was a convenient way just to kill off the girl at this point, honestly. I might not have gotten ambushed that time. Oh, I did! Alright, cool. Item. Throwing knife, I guess, whatever, doesn't matter. So it feels like fetuses are just absolute nightmares to try and fight. Cry for help? Oh wait, when did Eric Priest get poisoned again? I thought I cured that. What the fuck poisoned him? Oh no, they're pretty easy to handle, in fact. Oh, starting to feel hungry? Well, time to chow down another one of her limbs. Uh, let's get rid of a leg this time. Yep, hunger back down to zero. So yes, if I kept the girl intact for this, didn't get poisoned by that one fucker who doesn't even guard anything good or drop anything that useful, so just ignore that whole area, then you can just murder this thing pretty easily. Because we'd have another attack to get in. And the Skelebros are absolutely wrecking shit. So, why is it called an embryo? Why is it creating artificial murder babies? Is this like something where they have a bunch of, like, manufactured enemies? Not manufactured enemies, manufactured soldiers for stuff? Nothing left here? I already searched this bookshelf. Okay. So, searching this in the past or the present should get me the same stuff it looks like then, huh? Interesting. And I think this wasn't available in the past. Yeah, shut up, girl. You mind it anyway. 22? I wonder if we can get that lower. Ooh, Studies of Sylvian. Isn't that one of those skill books? No. I don't think they're undead, they look like golems. Maybe I should try counter magic on them though, see what, how that goes. Uh, is that like four of them? Fuck it! Oh, okay. Huh. There's probably a very clever puzzle here that I completely blew past because I wasn't looking for one. That is a Sylvian one again? Nitro powder, nice. A solution, see my mannequins? Okay, pitching another world, interesting. 
What's my brain doing? Oh, okay, I guess. I should get into some harmless fights or something and be as an ambush to restore my brain power. Huh. This does feel like the lore dump area at the end of the game. For the people that finally made it this far. Who the fuck is this guy? Human, I'm the guardian. King. Okay, so he's here to guard the city. Ill from hunger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check here. Passage of the... Okay. So they've got, like, golems doing shit. Uh, I don't want to use that yet. I want to check on this guy, though, who's just walking into a wall. Created you. God's created us. Ha! Huh, okay. So this is a place where they're making artificial beings that are advanced. I need to go up to be a warrior. It's eternity. I will show no mercy as does the big brother. Ha! Huh. So... Poor guy just out of the book. Maybe! I don't know! So, we got a bunch of, uh, humanoid figures, clay figures, golems. Selection of books. Oh, shit! Recipes of the... Hmm. Interesting. So, there were gods here, and they made golems, but then the gods left? New ones arrived, okay. The chief, okay. Ah. But we also saw some notes in there about someone that looked like he was trying to resurrect the dead and got turned into a prisoner, right? Yeah, yeah, shut up. Sure, let's fucking blow lucky coins. We got a shitload of them, and I'm not planning on keeping this run. Iron Spear. That's kind of a shit thing for an actual chest, but whatever. So, this was a city made by the gods who left. Or rather, this was a city made by the... Let me pause so I don't lose hunger. So this was a city made by people that say they were made by the gods, and then say the gods left and that new gods are, have arrived. Okay? I do vaguely remember a lore book mentioning that previous gods had been uh, established and came back. What if you got a big fat W out of this run? That's not gonna happen, but whatever. Right here anyway? Sure, why not? What happens? This is where everyone was going, so this is probably the end of it. Grand Hall? Uh... Hello? New gods! Okay, I have earned three questions. Ah, uh, I think I've heard of this, because I remember seeing someone complaining that they couldn't get anything useful out of it. I'm going to ask about myself. One of the more notorious dark of the modern age, I'm surprised it was right. New Enlightened One! Isn't one of the titles of the gods the Enlightened One? Uh, let's try a little girl! Mm. 
You do not understand the question. Okay. All right, chat. What am I putting in as my last thing for a uh, question that I put for these gods? I'm leaving this one up to you, because I got one fucked up one. I'll leave the last one to you guys to fuck up, so that I don't look as bad. Let me know what you got, chat. Let me know what your secret evil schemes are. Also, holy shit, we're at 275 followers already. Imposter. Beat us? All right, any other good suggestions for anyone? You need to know who the imposter is. Uh, pretty sure the imposter is Kahara, because he stole my shit. You have no idea. Any other suggestions, or otherwise I'm just gonna go with the fetus, because I guess the bite's the only one that's got something. Or even like, wasn't they called the embryo? Oh yeah, pocket cat. So, pocket cat or fetus? Oh. Third question, pocket cat, fetus, embryo, don't spacebar pocket cat. Noted. Additional votes. Uh, duration, one minute. All right, vote on it, and I'll pick whatever. If there's no tiebreaker, I'm going to go with pocket cat to see what the fuck his deal is up with. You have one minute, chat, to decide the potential fate of this run. They were going with Salmon Snake. Scrollmuller? Is Scrollmuller one word or two words? What do I need to do with little girls? Go with whatever. Okay. Right now we've got a tie between Pocket Cat and Embryo, so if anyone has any strong opinions, don't pick Fetus. Then it'll just be a three-way tie. All right, looks like Pocket Cat pulled ahead. Hopefully this, uh, orange knew how to do, like, case handling with this. Pocket Cat. A servant of the trickster god of the moon? Older god? Okay, so the new gods don't get that guy from the older god. All right, that it? Another Book of Enlightenment, too! What happens if I pray here a second time? Does my head explode? Alright. Fuck to me in a terrifying presence enter the room. I'm sorry? I kinda wanna check this out, then. Terrifying presence enter the room? Huh. I'm gonna hang out here for a bit and see if uh, Crowmaller shows up here while we're in the past. Alright, what do we got? Hey, Gravity and Biscuits, and welcome! We're, uh, actually nearing the end of the stream. I think I'll probably call it after whatever I die, or, uh, win, possibly. Uh, yeah. Uh, she... Basically, she's poisoned, which means she has one body, and I got sick of having to feed her. So, she's lost her mind, she's at one hit point from the poison damage that I didn't bother curing. Uh, she's starving to death, and I've chopped off all of her limbs that I've been using as food to keep the priest alive? Welcome to the tone of this game! I rescued the, uh, child slave, and I've been using her as a food source. Alright. We got three questions from the old god- or new gods, not the old gods. Ah, uh, no, panophobia is fear of everything, like Panopticon is seeing everything. But it's not that she can do anything, so she doesn't have working limbs. Is this a... F oh, that is a functioning embryo. Or a functioning uterus. Uh, skills, let's just run. It's not worth doing with anything. Run, go through, please. Yes! Nice. 
It's not worth picking a fight with that. And yeah, those are the dangerous enemies that exist only in the past. Those things, fuck off. Five silver coins, five tinder boxes, three silver coins. And I'm not joking about using her for food, by the way. I think I've used both of her legs up, but... Yeah, these two arms are her two arms that I sawed off with this bone saw to use as rations for the Dark Priest. Poison girl with a few limbs. Uh, no, she's got zero limbs. She has zero limbs at this point. She was pretty useful for a long time, but she got a Okay, so yeah. He's feeling hungry, so... Where's her arm? Yeah, we're good. But yes, poison girl who has lost her sanity, is afraid of everything, has no working limbs. Echo menace and terror from a past age? Man, this place is fucking huge, though! Oh, yeah, no, the portrait doesn't show that I've chopped off both of her legs. And yes, I, I chose to chop off both of her legs. What's this? Every black out- God, this place is huge! I thought this place would be like 15 minutes, but I've been spending more time wandering through this place than like the entire rest of the dungeon! Holy shit! Seriously! I'm gonna need like a map of this place to get anything done! And I'm still not even sure, like, why I'm here or what I'm doing. Oh, there's blood now, though, which means, like, enemies? Okay, no reaction. Okay. And yes, these are Lizzie and Kuakalaka. Two other skeleton VTubers. Who I decided to have join us for this run because they've been saving the day and doing most of the heavy lifting. Oh yeah, and those weird devices I can use to travel forwards and backwards. Hunger is crippling girl. Okay, she's at hunger four. And yes, various increases in hunger reduce her uh, max HP, which is kind of annoying because if you fix the hunger, you're still star starving afterwards. Uh, meat eating flies. Okay. I mean, I think Kahara is OP if you can get uh, the upgrade, give him on guard right away, and combine it with escape plan. And then just give him something awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, notice the girl's hand shaking? You don't got hands! Oh, I should have found a lucky coin here. Ah, whatever, we got it anyway. Ooh, Eagle Crest shield. Uh, I guess I'll give that to Kuakalaka. Boost his defense a bit, or no. That better than the spider shield? Marginally. Yeah, Liz's been here longer, so she gets seniority for all the good equipment. Throwing dart. Hmm. This place is just fucking huge, though! And it never ends, and there's two versions of it? I'll stab you. Oh, he, he does want to go. Uh, I don't actually think I want to go, though. Alright. Let me back off. And I can walk into him again with Sword Out to get a free round, right? Yes. Uh, let's just go all in on one arm and hope that the skeletons cooperate. Miss. Alright, that's bad RNG. And little girl doesn't matter. Okay. Huh. 
If I think the skeletons and Anki all attack the same thing, it'll work out fine. Because this game saves, like, limb and body part damage. Oh, I guess they can go for the head. Ah, it's all spread out. Fuck it. Let's just go for it. Where's the... Yeah, healing whispers so my mind is blown. Uh... Do I do anything good against him? Throwing knife against his head, I guess. Healing whispers because the priest is killing himself with poison damage constantly. Alright. Two hits to the head. Breathes heavily. Red grass. Uh, let's just go for another Healing Whispers. Yes, for some reason, if you have your limbs and whatnot cut, you can't do shit with them, but you can still use items for some reason. Healing Whispers again. Oh, one arm down, Shivering Scream. Which, uh, oh, reaches for me. Well, let's blow a lucky coin on what's probably an instant kill attack. Nice. Okay, constrained by its chains. Uh, I guess I'll have her keep tossing darts and whatnot. I have never thrown in my mouth a uh, dart with my mouth, in fact. Not once. Oh, it's poison. Okay. The ring screen will fuck up mind a bit, but that's whatever. She's already crazy. Dark Priest is constantly regenerating mind. Wonder if he'll survive without a head. And let's blow the last dart. Okay, no, head kills him off. Huh. Hey, so do we have a special soul from this? Blind from hunger. Interesting. Hunger five. Uh, soul devour- No, that was just a lesser soul? Really? That fucking weird-ass thing! Was seriously just a lesser soul? Okay. Sure. Why not? Also, do you actually go blind from hunger? I've had to, like, not eat for long periods back when I was alive, and I never went blind from it. Waiting for a sacrifice? Well, what? Why was there the red flash? Lever is jams? Why is there the red flashes? Why could I not use on guard no more? Um. Maybe it's because I killed the red man, I'm gonna be counted as the next sacrifice or whatever. Or my head's about to explode or something. Lord, this place is huge. Hands shaking, just got hands left. Alright. Still flashing red. Ominous. Why is that happening? Bones broken? Oh, maybe it's because he had, like, fuck all health? Holy shit, what the hell happened to him? Or maybe the uh, flashing is destroying his health. Is that 92 now? Red Flash, 82. Uh, hmm. And I don't think there's a way to set bones. I think they just repair after a time. I guess walking up there had me marked as the sacrifice? Yeah, now we're down to 72. Alright. So we're probably just totally fucked at this point. Anki is gonna, yeah, he just keeps flashing. And I don't- it's definitely not the broken bone that does that. I wonder if this will actually straight up kill him. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll see, I guess. Wasn't there a left one as well? Nope, just these two. Ah, uh, well, may as well go back to the sacrifice room since we accidentally marked ourselves as sacrifice. Or This could be a side effect. Do I still have another light blue vial? I do. Oh, oh, right. Broken bones reduce your maximum HP slightly. That's why he's at 96 instead of 100. Or this could be the red man's scream fucking with me. 
Either is pretty plausible at this point. And I don't really have a way to deal with whatever the fuck's going on. And there's still little jams. I bet time travel wouldn't solve it either. Wonder if she'll starve to death before Anki- Oh wait, no, I can guarantee that. Because her hunger constantly goes down. Even when I'm not moving, but Anki seems to only be taking damage when I move around. Yeah, so we can take like two more flashes and then I have to heal. Well, three more and then I have to heal, technically. Do I have anything to heal with, though? Not really. This is, yeah, cures infections, this does whatever. Yeah, I'm totally out of blue. So I guess we got another couple of steps. Uh, very sensitive frame. Ah! Uh, let the girl starve. We're gonna let the girl starve to death before Enki bleeds out from whatever the fuck that ha what red scream was. Or at least I hope she'll starve to death. Her hunger hasn't seemed to have gone down from 95 at all. Did I have an item protect from weird powers? Did I? I might actually have had one. Yeah, the Soul Devourer Necklace. Texting us otherworldly powers. If I got flashed again, I'm just toast. Yep, nothing I can do about this. Can I just let her hunger meter tip down and see if you can't actually just straight starve to death or if his hunger is capped at like 95? And it causes blindness and like whatnot. Let's see. Tick tock. I guess hunger is sort of capped at 95 then, huh? Fuck it, jump into the pit. Your feet are bust because of the fall. Ah, whatever, it's fine. He's about to lose all of his shit from the uh, red flash again, right? Or is just jumping down this pit all of it? Okay, she is at hunger 96. Oh, wait, wait, what the fuck am I thinking? He's not out of stuff. We have magic still. Yeah, we're fine. Wait, what? Construction equipment and tools, okay. Yeah, Skeleton Bros could not break the fall, unfortunately. Okay. Interesting. So there's this pit that we probably need to figure out a safe way down to. Maybe this is fully opened up in the future and there's like a ladder leading down and we have to fight our way there through all the ghouls and whatnot? Hmm. But jumping down here did, uh... Cancel out the red flashes. Or at least it seems to. Girl feels dizzy. Girl is at the edge of her seat. Oh, wait, did she just die? Oh, well, it looks like she left the party. Oh, the girl is dead now. So you can starve to death. Noted. Uh, why does it keep... Telling me that she's got panophobia. Okay, so there's no way to climb back up if you jump down here, and it breaks both legs. This feels like one of those, uh, commit suicide areas. Because there's old construction tools and, like, a little passage over here and nothing else. Oh, wait, 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 there's stuff over here. And yeah, this is just the end of it. Well! I think that's going to be the end of this stream. Found some good stuff, made a lot of progress in Mahabre scouting it out, figuring out the way it works. Don't deal with the red guy. 
May as well just suicide to end the stream on a high note. And you can stand back up for the suicide for some reason. Alright. And with that delightfully cheerful ending, I'm gonna go find someone to read you over to. Ah, uh, what the fuck do I do for a raid message? Ancient city raid or something? Right, let me, uh... Bleh. Make that transparent so you don't get to see what's going on in my browser. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Later, Mew. Before you split, let me find someone to raid. Ah, Bloom's got way more views than me right now. I'm not... Well... First date with a magical cat girl thingy, Swin Diesel, Egg, Patella, Pestis, Midnight. Oh man, too many choices. Oh, and Kuaka Laka is still going at fucking 46? Jesus, I guess we go for like four hours. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll throw you over to Pestis. Because he's got about the same tone as what I've got with this. Ah, uh, fuck it. Death in a hole raid. There's your raid message. Have a good night. I appreciate the money. If those are the uh, the one guy who gave me money. I uh, hope to see you again tomorrow, possibly earlier, for uh, some Silent Hill. Anywho, toodaloo.